welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the deposit module so it will be also a huge module like transaction so first let me show you a sample demo transaction so here you have this deposit button right when you click on this deposit button you will get a model pop up there you have to enter the amount that's all so remaining we have we just need to handle with the help of the stripe so somehow my production is not loading refresh uh, not authenticated uh, maybe there is some issue with the thing let me delete this okay arjun 1234567 login so transactions deposit yeah here you can see it's normal model pop up enter the amount to uh, deposit if you click on sorry the button name is wrong here so it should be like deposit now so if you click on this you are going to get the stripe model pop up here you have to enter your basic details and the credit card information so the amount will be debited from your bank account and it will be added into your wallet so this is the flow so first of all we need a model pop up so let's go to the and also we need one uh, npm module npm install react hyphen stripe hyphen checkout checkout so with the help of this we are going to handle the stripe related things in the front end and uh, coming to the back end we will handle it later first we just have to send the stripe front end token to the back end so the token related information we'll handle in the back end later so npm start so pages transaction so i'm just writing here deposit model dot js so rfce same here also we will receive three props show deposit model show deposit model set show deposit model and also reload data reload data so now uh, here just get rid of this div and have the model pop up model from the entity so let's import this model not from the react bootstrap it should be from the entity so now i'm just writing here title is equal to deposit uh, open is equal to show deposit model on cancel so it is getting reloaded so on close so on cancel set show deposit so i think this is good actually uh, now let's go to the index.js not here in the transactions where is deposit button here is the deposit button first we need the states const show deposit model set show deposit model use state false now we just have to write on click for this button set show deposit model true that's all so it is going to load then in this deposit model we need a simple input field so that should have uh, a simple form item first time let me write one div it should be kind of dot flex dot flex call dot gap one and then form dot item to take the amount form dot item label is equal to amount input normal text close the form item so this should be number and uh, i am going to write the state const amount set amount initially i am going to write 10 dollars 
so here also value is equal to amount on change is equal to e dot target dot value this should be due yeah so my code is still compiling yeah it got compiled now let me refresh this page and go to the transactions deposit it's not even opening okay we didn't even call that so as like the transactions model show deposit model this should be deposit model show deposit model set show deposit model that's all form is not defined okay let's define form perfect yeah here you can see and form should have the layout of form should have layout of type is equal to sorry layout is equal to vertical layout is equal to vertical i think if we have the form we don't need the state just give name is equal to amount everything will be taken care from the entity then so we can write all we can also write the rules if you want rules required true oh not here required true message please input amount and then dot flex dot flex dot justify end dot that's all so first button should be the stripe related button and the second button should be cancel so amount is not defined get rid of this on change and value have only type input why the transactions are not loading hmm yeah so looking clean now get rid of that uh, what we can call it uh, footer also footer is equal to null yeah we have only amount now the scenario is we should have the two buttons cancel and uh, uh, what we can call it uh, deposit so first i am going to write the cancel button primary outlined button so this should have cancel text we got the cancel now right to this we need the uh, what we can call it deposit button so that deposit button you have to get it from the react stripe react stripe checkout so basically uh, first you have to open the stripe account so if you don't have the account please create it for the testing purpose so it will be free stripe so i am logging into my stripe account so sign in i am logging with my personal email login signing in so it will be uh, react stripe checkout is nothing but a simple component which is the wrapper of the stripe front end so if you click on that button automatically it will take the required things so stripe key so if you pass this stripe key it remaining will be taken care from this token on token is the callback function and this is the only thing that you have to do in the front end you can see these are the props that you can pass it so home page so after opening the stripe you have to go to the uh, developers if you have to click on the developers and you should have this api keys so in this you should have two keys publishable key secret key so publishable key we will use in the front end secret key we will use in the back end so still we didn't reach up to this so first we have to focus on the front end so just copy this public publishable key and also uh, this stripe checkout so here 
just keep that stripe checkout and close like this and inside this stripe checkout you can have the button our button so if you click on this automatically this token will execute on token so you just need to write on token on token so you just need to import this react stripe checkout import stripe checkout from the yeah so i'm just writing const on token so you after entering the successful credit card information you will get the token so this token you have to send it to the node.js from there we can process the request to the stripe so i'm just printing it in the console now and here you just have to paste our key not this this one paste it here and here you have to enter the currency also i believe yeah currency is equal to usd mm stripe checkout can't communicate with our payment processor because the api key is invalid refresh deposit we need the gap gap 1 okay now i am clicking on this deposit button oh we need the amount also so i am just writing amount is equal to so we need that in the separate uh, variable then only it will work const form form so here i am just writing it as form is equal to form and here amount is equal to amount is equal to form dot get value amount into 100 so by default you will get in the cents you have to convert it to the dollars so it will be like this now i am just writing 15 i am clicking on the deposit you can see i got this stripe model pop up now i am entering my basic details so stripe test card details will be or four twos and uh, you can give any in uh, expiry year 1 2 3 pay so if i open the console you can see this is my token so this token id you have to send it to the back end even if you send this complete token also no problem so here you will be having all the information so our card information everything etc i think uh, amount is not getting populated i'm not sure why so let me have the amount in the variable also Oh we need one more thing here I think there is one more prop shipping address we need shipping address also ping address yeah email something like this so make it united states yeah so we are getting no issue so all four twos 12251231234 yeah so i got one more here you can see object so everything is working as expected now uh, we have to send it to the back end after clicking right so let me write the api now itself api call so in the next lecture we can handle that so transactions so deposit funds using stripe so i'm just writing deposit funds so we will send payload here so that payload will consist so this function should be async on successful token generation try catch block try catch block const response is equal to await deposit funds so we need token as well as amount amount is nothing but uh, form dot uh, get field value get field value 
amount that's all uh, put colon here yeah that's all so token and amount so if response dot success uh, reload data and uh, dispatch show loading hide loading const dispatch use dispatch or uh, dispatch show loading dispatch hide loading dispatch hide loading and uh, here same message dot error and if it is response dot success you have to show the success message also else error message error message so message is not imported hide loading is not imported and show loading is also sorry sorry mm. show loading and uh, hide loading this is perfect so in the transactions it is having transaction the route name is deposit funds so in the next lecture we are going to work on this route thank you welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the stripe api integration in the back end so first uh, we need to install some modules that is npm i uu id which is useful for generating the unique id and also stripe js i think uh, let me check the name stripe js yeah stripe js npm this one yeah this one only copy this uh, okay first let's install that stripe js and also npm uuid v4 copy this and put it here and install and now go to the env and here stripe key stripe key is equal to just copy that and get the secret key put it here maybe anyhow those are the test things only now let's restart the server nodemon server slash server okay fine so let's go to the transactions route transactions route okay so deposit funds using stripe using stripe so first we need to import the stripe card const stripe is equal to so we have require stripe in that next to that you just need to write process dot env dot stripe key so in the local host we have given the same stripe key i think so let me cross check stripe key yeah stripe key I think we also need to import this one only stripe npm i stripe now it got working yeah there is no error stripe key so also uuid const uuid is equal to require uuid v4 yeah so now uh router dot post yeah here so router dot post 
deposit funds first let me close this so here you have to perform two things try catch first one is uh, create customer so in the request body you will get only token and amount so remaining everything you have to take care of here so first you just need to create the customer in the stripe this is the first process so i'm just writing const customer is equal to await this is the inbuilt method stripe dot customers dot create so email is equal to token dot email source is equal to token dot id and close it so we have printed something in the console right this one so in this token only you will have this email as well as the id so that details you have to use it here to create the customer and the next step is charge so after creating the customer you have to charge them so const charge is equal to await stripe dot charges dot create so it will take a parameter an object which will have amount so we need not to into the amount already we are getting the into amount only currency is equal to usd obviously customer customer dot id recipient email token dot email description uh, deposited to share wallet deposited to deposited to share wallet i think these are enough and then you need one item potency key item potency key will be every time unique so you have to pass it as per the security of the stripe item potency key make sure the spelling is correct and then close it that's all the stripe is done you just need to check if the charge is successful or not uh if charge mm i got the snippet already but uh let me accept this okay so if charge dot status is equal to succeeded and we are creating a transaction because the user has to know when the amount has deposited so new transaction is equal to sender user id receiver also user id and uh, then you have this uh, amount type is equal to deposit uh, status is equal to success i think everything is okay as per the model so amount type sender reference reference and status reference is not there here uh, reference stripe deposit stripe deposit that's all i think we are good guys so after saving the transaction you just have to increment the balance in the user account so whatever the amount we are uh, depositing that amount should be added to the user account increasing the user's balance so in the else case you just have to throw the error else case response dot send message transaction failed data charge success false that's all so here i'm just writing the success response response dot send transaction successful new transaction close it even in the catch block also repeat the same transaction failed okay so if you get this first time working we are great i don't think it will work because this is a long process definitely we'll get the errors so deposit funds okay everything is okay uh now let's go to the uh ui so uh, where is the ui deposit model deposit model so this is fine everything is okay here was it from yep we are good i believe hmm reload data so uh, we have to implement this reload data for both the components even for deposit and the transfer reload data is nothing but get data here also reload data is nothing but get data 
transaction model after on finish here also you have to reload reload data okay cool let's have some fun now close everything okay let's keep the stripe because we have to observe the payments so my last payment was 1800 rupees in the stripe so now we are having the dollars okay i'm just clicking on deposit so i'm just depositing 20 dollars into ronaldo's account deposit so something uh, email make these states as united states uh, card number all four twos 12 25 one two three so make sure you open the network close everything and click on the uh, what all these errors mm. okay this is something else okay let's click on the pay now button so deposit funds pending how we got uuid is not a function transaction got failed actually you can see transaction failed so there is some error in the back end uuid is not a function so where is it where you okay i think uuid v4 maybe let me cross check that function uuid v4 version 4 so like this way you have to use and to generate you just need to call the function how we are calling yeah this time it has to work deposit again same details i'll change the country to united states so card number all four twos so 1225 123 pay loading awesome you can see transaction successful so previously ronaldo's uh, amount was i think 25 something now we have deposited right so it should be refresh so previously it is 30 now if i refresh we should get 50 awesome here you can see we got the 50 of course we will write the automatic refresh so let's go to the transactions now so here type is equal to we have to make this as deposit so let's go to the um, what is this deprecation warning not required later we can do so go to the transactions route not here um, index index okay so sender is equal to user id and again you have to check oh how we can check these okay i'll this is the reference right type okay sender is equal to user id and uh, receiver also user id then record dot receiver dot id receiver dot id is also user id then it is deposit deposit uh, okay I will do one thing I will write if conditions for the better understanding so if oh again I am writing if record dot sorry 
record dot sender dot underscore id equal to equal to record dot receiver dot id then type deposit else if only uh, else if right else if uh, record dot sender id is equal to user id then that should be debit debit else obviously it should be credit that's all now it has to work as expected the first transaction should be deposit now yes we can see so deposit and the reference is stripe checkout so everything working as expected so by this we have completed the sending receiving depositing so the next module is uh, request so request is also almost similar to the transaction only but one user will request amount to the another user so another user will receive a, a request notification so in the tabs there they can have to accept or reject so like this so request send request received so it is accepted like this so that we will handle in the next section thank you Welcome back guys. In this section we are going to work on the request funds module. So already we have completed the transfer funds and the deposit funds. So request funds is also almost same but the funds will not be de debited or credited automatically. First a request will be sent from person A that means account A to account B. So like I want $10 for so and so reasons like that. So if the B accepts then the amount will be credited from the B if it is available else we will show the error and then the amount will be credited to the A. This is the process almost similar to the transfer only but here we will have the request scenario. So in the normal bank accounts we won't be having this scenario but in the valids we can request to the some other accounts because it is a kind of deposit and uh, uh, spent thing. So let's go and create that uh, folder uh, file now. So we don't have anything in the request. So let me go to the close this. So in the pages, I'm going to create a new page called request here index dot js. RFCE request <coughs> so now I am just writing the route for request request and here also I am just changing the component name to request that's all so now let's go to the protected route and uh, write an entry point for that default layout user menu oh i think it's already there so request yeah here you can see you have this now i'm just writing the tabs here first of all we need the page title then bottom of that we need the tabs so i'm just writing import tabs from entity and also we need const tab pane is equal to tabs then first we need to have dot flex dot justify between between yes justify between then I'm going to have the page title component page title obviously it would be request then I'm going to have the button at the right side uh, button dot primary outlined outlined btn so button name should be new request or else request funds request funds perfect yeah so i got this module name and request funds 
So if you click on this, we are going to open the model pop-up and before that we need to have two different tabs, bottom of this uh, window. So I'm just writing tabs, first tab will be, first let me close these tabs, first tab will be request sent. That means if you have requested funds with some other user. So tab pane, that is not all actually, the name should be uh, what we can call it uh, sent request sent so for the time being I'm just writing the word sent then received received close this all right now let's see the output once so here you can see sent received it is changing properly so if i go to the request so request id amount that you have requested so sent sent means it will be having a request sent so from whom you are requesting the amount you can also call it as to request sent to like that so request you can call it as to here and here you can call it from so request id amount to status action so if the person who has received that request approved your uh, request then it will be status changed to uh, approved if it is approved means the amount should be credited to your account so now uh, here first i am going to have some columns or else uh, first we will build the uh, model anyhow we have started the front end so let's build the models only uh, columns only const columns is equal to first one id request id sorry title is equal to request id data index is equal to just underscore id just underscore id and here also we are going to have the uh, requester uh, no what we can call it mm. can simply call it user user with whom you are requesting data index is equal to user then you are going to have the amount amount date we also need to have the date 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 last but not the least status okay perfect mm, i think we are good with this now we need the data so for the time being i'm just writing const data set data is equal to empty and we are going to get it from the use effect so let me go to the uh, api calls so first i'm going to create okay we already have the request so first we need to import the axios manager axios instance first one is get all requests by user or for a user so export const get request get all request get all request by user so we need not to send the user id also because anyhow it should be there in the authorization so try cache block try cache block now i'm just writing const data is equal to axios instance dot post change dot post slash request slash get hyphen all hyphen request by user so return data and here return error return error meanwhile the save and remaining thing is also same send request to another user so 
here request is nothing but the payload where we will have everything as per the model accept request or reject uh, request so this accept and reject we will handle next first we should see the request so these two are uh, enough so in the next lecture we are going to create the model as well as the endpoints thank you welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the request model as well as the endpoint so first of all let's go to the back end so request model dot model dot js so const mongoose is equal to require mongoose i think my internet has lost <coughs> yeah let me restart it Hmm. Mongoose is equal to require mongoose. Then const request schema is equal to new request schema. So here I am just having the fields like uh, first one will be uh, sender uh, request sender request sender will be type id. Reference is equal to users. Then after receiver, request receiver. Here the amount we are not uh, talking about the transaction. It is request. In the transaction, it will be vice versa. So if the receiver accept the request, the sender will receive the amount like that. So receiver sender amount amount. And uh, description description or else uh, reference or anything you call it quite true and at the end I'm going to have the timestamps timestamps true and also status status string default pending awesome so now let's go to the request route we have to export this right module dot exports is equal to mongoose dot model request so first one will be uh, requests route dot js so const router is equal to uh const router is equal to require express dot router first one will be obviously okay import the request model const request is equal to models request model so first endpoint uh get all request for a user so i'm just writing get all request by user so try cache block yeah so let me explain this first i have written const request is equal to await request dot find so if the we are fetching the request of a user means it could be sender or receiver both and here uh, first let's ignore this uh, popular we need not to populate this okay if you want to populate you just need to write sender and receiver that's all the entire thing will be populated so sender and receiver will be populated and here also response dot send response dot send so, uh, data is equal to request data is equal to request message request fetched successfully success true success true success true and then after you are going to have uh, send a request to another user so send request mm -hmm. 
let me accept this first so const receiver amount description we are going to get it from the request body so sender is equal to request dot user id obviously and uh, receiver is equal to we will send it from the front end with whom you are requesting amount description i think these are the four status is equal to obviously pending by default here you can see status is not required by default it is pending so uh, we need not to worry about the status only uh, we have to store this new request await request dot save response dot send okay everything is okay here so we have the endpoints ready we have the model ready now we are left with only calling this endpoint from the ui so let's go to the server and uh, create the route for request route and write app dot use perfect we need to write the module dot exports module dot exports is equal to router perfect let's close everything <sighs> then uh, go to the yeah request so here when we click on this i am going to have const show new request model set show new request model so here i am just writing new request model new request model dot js so it could be almost similar to send funds and verify account so just go to the transactions transfer funds model whatever the code you have written just copy this and paste it here we will change accordingly don't worry about this first one is new request model new request model new request model and here also new request model and uh, here the data would be uh, show new request model set show new request model and reload data so i'm just writing show new request model set show new request model so wherever you have used that instead of show transfer model uh, show new request model set show new request model here also wherever it is there just replace it replace with uh, this one perfect i think we are good so balance we need not to check means we need not to check and then uh, verify account should be mandatory receiver account should be verified request receiver so here on finish so on finish we have to send values what are the form values so request uh, receiver we are having verify also we are having this is required account verified amount is also there and instead of reference call it description call it description description and uh, here instead of transfer just call it request instead of transfer just call it as request perfect so now uh, here also verify account is normal it will be the same we need not to change anything here and on finish you have to call it instead of transfer funds call it as request request send request send request and make sure the routes are matching so here we are having send request request slash send request and uh, here also send request so everything is matching as per our code and here this is request dot body dot user id request dot body dot user id and here we have a bug try to find out before saying with me auth middleware we forgot the auth middleware here without auth middleware we cannot get the user 
at the middleware here also at middleware and we have to import that const at middleware is equal to middleware slash at middleware now we are good so hope it should work fine let's go and do that okay first of all we have to write that condition here when to show so go to the index on button click show new request model new request model and uh, what else we have after these steps i'm just writing if show request model is true new request model new request model and we have to pass the props show new request model set show so reload is not there for the time being so just write them also const yeah just copy that uh, transactions uh, code you will understand better transactions same thing like this copy and paste it here so instead of get a transaction by user should be get a request by user and dispatch thing should be imported const dispatch is equal to use dispatch dispatch is equal to use dispatch show loading hide loading also needs to be imported show loading hide loading use effect message also <sighs> got it lot of code we have written so request funds so so the logged in user is ronaldo now ronaldo will request uh, 8 dollars from messi so this is messi account copy this paste it here verify account verified so amount 7 dollars description i have to buy a mm, chocolate my chocolate request by default we got the error let's see request i think request is going 404 what the heck is this request slash send request post only oh it is not going with api where is it request A slash api should be there here A slash yeah now request again 404 i think we have to refresh the page request funds same seven dollars mm, just for fun just for fun verify the account request reload data is not a function yes i know that but send request is successful request sent successfully so now if i close this and if i go to the model sorry mongodb i have to see that yes we got this awesome everything is okay now in the sent and received we should have the tables so that is this is little complicated that we will discuss in the next lecture thank you welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the showing the request for the sent and uh, received 
so first of all let's go to the index.js and if i open and see network refresh we have to see get all request by user cannot read property of underscore id where it is request route here also this is not request or like this request dot body dot user id and here also request dot body dot user id i capital now just request the same yeah i got the data so this should be in the sent for ronaldo and in the received for messi let's have that first one is in the, in the index.js you should have the data so in the data we should not post this directly response.data you have to post it in the objects so now i'm just writing const sent data is equal to request dot uh or else response dot response dot data dot filter item item dot sender equal to equal to user dot underscore id sorry user dot underscore id user should be imported at the top from the use selector const user is equal to use selector state state dot users use selector state dot users sender is equal to state dot users so now even for the receiver also same const received data is equal to response dot data dot filter so receiver is equal to user dot underscore id so in the set data you are going to write an object in the object sent is equal to sent data received is equal to received data so now in both the tabs we are going to have the tables so table from the entity table so first one is data dot sent second one is same columns data dot received so just import the table from the entity table from the entity so id will be there user will not be there sender and receiver so sender and title receiver here also data index receiver index receiver amount date is nothing but you just have to write render uh, let's import the moment import moment so render of yeah so ddmm yyy dd mm yyy and hhmm ss also yeah status is equal to obviously it would be there and if you populate the names also you can populate instead of user id that's up to you so if i refresh now wow what the hell is this nothing uh am i calling the get data yes item request dot response dot data dot filter mm. why oh, it is not printing then oh it is populating so if it is populating means you just need to write sender dot underscore id 
receiver dot underscore id even in the columns also you just need to write render render of sender dot first name plus sender dot last name here also receiver receiver dot first name receiver dot last name so it has to work this time yes so this is not user this is sender this is sender yeah now this is perfect okay i think we are good now let's open the messi account and write 1234567 so messi should be in the received request sent is empty in the received you have this ronaldo obviously receiver will be messi pal amount 10 so here you are going to have the actions whenever you have the received so you have to accept or reject that we will handle in the next section thank you